hello guys it is friday june 2nd and i kind of wanted to just start this vlog with telling you kind of like a physique update uh, this is project rebuild and i am on a journey to rebuild my metabolism rebuild my body my mind everything and oh god this bulk is kind of getting hard right now for the first time so i'm feeling it like I'm just feeling like fluffier. I don't know. I don't know if it's just I'm bloated today or what, but I'm definitely feeling like fluffy. And I need to get that out of my head because that's when people on a bulk start to second guess the bulk, especially women. But I'm gonna power through. I have cardio today. I have sprints and I'm gonna take you along to show you my preferred way of doing my sprints. My passion planner just came in the mail today. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna drink my coffee, get some energy for cardio and I'm gonna do some journaling. I think I just need to kind of like purge out my negative thoughts and um, I will take you along to show you what is my favorite way to do hit cardio so I will see you outside before it rains bye so we are at my little apartment gym it's really shitty but it's raining outside my preferred way to do cardio is HIIT cardio, high intensity interval training. I always do it outside, I love it. I feel like I can sprint faster and be more explosive outside than on the treadmill. And with HIIT cardio on the treadmill, it really is beneficial if you like jump, hold the sides and jump off of it. But I, it scares me, I don't do it. So outside is my way to go, it's raining. So I'm gonna show you my number two hit cardio preferred method, which is treadmill pushes. They suck, it is so hard, but it kicks my ass more than sprints do. So five minute warm up, and then I only have six intervals, and I'm gonna do 20 seconds pushing the treadmill when it's off as hard as I possibly can, and then I'm gonna do a minute 40, just a walk, kind of like walking around the gym, kind of just being active but recovering. Forgot a hair tie, so usually my hair will be up. All right, six intervals. Let's go. Just get ready for work, 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 work. See me, I'll be work, 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 work. You see me do me that, 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 that. Done. Took 12 minutes total without my warm up, and uh, usually I do a five to 10 minute cool down, but I have to walk back to my apartment, so that's gonna be my cool down. I love and hate that cardio. It's a lot harder to me than doing sprints because you're pushing against the resistance of the treadmill that's off. So you just have to push with all of your strength and then like keep it going for 20 seconds. Oh my God, it's like, it's really, really tough, but I feel so good after. And it's been 12 minutes and I am sweating. I mean, probably because I, oops, probably because I forgot to bring a hair tie. So I'm sorry if the footage, like I look like Tarzan, but it's really effective. 
Pit is awesome at burning fat. You are continuously, like your metabolism gets heightened when you do a hit cardio and you are burning calories for up to 48 hours after you do the hit cardio. I prefer it to steady state because it's done in 12 minutes. I'm not on the stairmaster for 45 minutes. It's a lot it's a lot more effective for burning fat and maintaining muscle. So, throw that in your routine if you're looking to lose some body fat. But I will show you what I have for dinner and uh yeah, I'll see you at home. Bye. This is my dinner tonight. This is butternut squash and sweet potato. My Greek yogurt coleslaw. And then underneath that is my cold barbecue chicken that you saw in my last video from my meal prep. Prepping my dinners has been a lifesaver, honestly, for staying on track. So I go in the fridge, pull out Friday dinner, for example, throw it in the microwave, and my meal is ready to go. And it's pre-portioned, it's already seasoned. I always put like a little hot sauce on top, maybe throw a little bit like more salt and some seasoning on it too, but um, it's done. I don't have to think, I just go and grab. And that has helped me so much stay on track because when I'm cooking, I tend to add a little bit more food because I'm hungry. I don't need it, but I do. So I'm gonna enjoy dinner and I will see you guys tomorrow. We're gonna get some sushi and I'm gonna show you how I track it stress-free. Bye, have a good night. Back from the gym, oh. <laughs> Ignore the hair, I'm working with it. Okay, nachos. So we're doing Making making our own tortilla chips with Joseph's flatbread and Joseph's pita bread. Major low carb hack right here because these babies are nine carbs. This is 14 carbs for one full flatbread. Ridiculous. So I'm gonna mix these. I'm gonna do one pita, one flatbread. I'm gonna cut them, bake them, and then we're gonna do ground chicken. And then these are my toppings. I have light shredded cheese, jalapenos. I'm gonna make my own little guac with just avocado, salt, pepper, and lemon. And then we have some medium salsa. Open eye. Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized By the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Can't make coast collide Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight Dripping lights Paint the skies All because of you I cook I have my assembly line ready
chicken nachos. Bake in the oven at 400 until the cheese melts a couple minutes. So good. Done. Put another plate under it because it's hot. Now I'm just gonna top it with my salsa and guac. Oh my god, this huge plate of nachos. So beautiful and huge. Look at that. There are 34 carbs, 28 fat, and 40 protein. Now, that is with all of my toppings. That is with the cheese, the salsa, the jalapenos, everything. So yes, those macros sound high, but this is an alternative to a fast food restaurant plate, uh, which is in the thousands. These sound like high macros, but for nachos, they are not. If you count your macros, you can fit them in and you can log what fits for your day. So you can use, no, imagine if I, I mean the avocado alone brought 13 grams of fat. So if you took away the avocado, then that would remove 13 grams of fat. Trader Joe's sells a guilt-free Greek yogurt guacamole. If you, <laughs> Brian's chasing the dog to have her be quiet. So yeah, there's always healthier options or lower calorie options. So if you're lower fat and are watching your weight, definitely hit up Trader Joe's for that guilt-free guacamole. But I mean, this huge plate, really amazing but I'm gonna devour this right now, bye. Hello, we are on our way to Indian food. I'm so excited. We're gonna do our normal sushi day tomorrow, but we just wanted to just not have to cook and think and weigh and track and just eat, but going out to dinner does not mean that I'm not going to be hitting my goals. I'm gonna try the best I can, but I'm not gonna stress about it. I'm gonna show you how I log a night out. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to put right here what I do on my phone. So number one tip for going out to eat, I choose my place to eat. I know where I'm going first. Second, I go online and I see what I want. So I know what I'm getting so that I can base my the rest of the day around that. I always log in my fitness pal what I know I'm gonna wanna eat first. If you know you're gonna go out to eat, look at the menu, decide what you want, go in my fitness pal and try to match what you're going to get the best you can. It's kind of easier when you pick a, a cuisine like Indian or Chinese or sushi or Italian, you know, something that you can look up like chicken parmesan or like me, I know I'm gonna get chicken vindaloo. So I just search chicken vindaloo in my fitness pal and it will show restaurants that are verified. You know it is legit macros if they have the green check mark. And I'm just gonna stop thinking from there. That is what my chicken vindaloo, the macros are gonna be. That's it. Um, sushi, what I do for sushi, I always get one tempura roll and one fresh fish roll. So I will search shrimp tempura roll and I will look for the green verified. Wegmans has a shrimp tempura roll that is the, ver the, ma the macros are verified. So I log that every single time I have a shrimp tempura roll. It's not going to be 100% what I am eating, but that's okay. It's an, I'm estimating, it's in the ballpark, it's fine. So that's what I do. And you don't, I never get just a shrimp tempura roll. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's in the same realm and then I get a fresh sushi roll and so I usually will just log like a spicy tuna roll because I love tuna so that's what I normally get out anyway so the same principle applies for sushi I look at the menu first and I just log what's closest don't stress when going out to eat macros are never gonna be legit just do the best you can ask for no oil ask the waiter if the chef can cook it with cooking spray they will say yes 100 percent of the time those are my tips i hope they helped like the video if this helped you 
please comment below if you have any further questions. I would love to address them because I know going out to eat and staying on your macros is can be really stressful. I used to really stress about it to the point where like I would never go out to eat. You can't live that way. So we're gonna enjoy this night stress-free. And um, yeah, I will see you later. What is up guys? Meal prep is complete for this week. Let me show you. So good. We did white potatoes, Yukon gold potatoes this week. Chipotle bowls with cilantro, lime rice, pepper, salsa, chicken. We did buffalo cauliflower too, all on the Insta story. So much flavor. Mm. But I'm gonna sit next to Bailey and I am gonna let you guys know my future as a bikini competitor. Am I competing? No, I'm not competing. Nope. Next year, ha <laughs> I'm competing next year, not this year. Project Rebuild, this is why I started this YouTube channel, because I wanna rebuild my metabolism and that is still a work in progress for me. Right now my calories are a, a, a little over 2,000. My carbs are at about 270. Fats are, I think, 60-ish. Um, and it can go higher. I'm staying lean. My metabolism each week is getting faster and faster. I check, I check in every Sunday, or no, Saturday. And I am down weight or I'll be up like 0.2, you know. So my metabolism is sucking up all these carbs. And I don't see the point of going into a prep and depleting and I really wanna do this the healthy way. And a lot of girls will compete just to get skinny and just to get in shape. And then after the show, they realize their body cannot maintain at that show physique. And so they kinda of go crazy and they have a really bad relationship with food, they have body dysmorphia. And I, I would say I have a little body dysmorphia right now. So I know for me it's not smart to compete this year. I'm taking this year to be healthy, to get my calories and carbs as high as I possibly can so then next year when I do compete, I am going to go on prep with a lot of food and that's what I want. And I have a pretty crazy goal. I wanna be pro soon. So I want to put on as much muscle as I possibly can. I have a lot of muscle right now already so I've never had a proper off season before because I've always been in a deficit or eating really unhealthy and not really working out. So I will not be competing this year. Good luck to all the competitors this year, but wait till next year. I'm coming for you. Can't wait. Nervous, but I'm ready. So that's my little update. Not competing this year. Hope you guys liked the video. Please like and subscribe, it really helps me out. Comment below if you wanna see any recipes, any feedback, positive or negative, I would love to hear it. I will see you guys next week, bye.